Baylor football coach Dave Aranda with me. David Smolk on 365 Sports. Do you feel like where you are as a depth chart and talent has been affected by not being aggressive in the transfer portal, not this past summer, but the year before? Uh, no, I appreciate that question. I don't think so. I think the... Um the talent that we have and the depth that we have is probably the most that we've had. Um, and so with, uh, especially with our, um, our skill people, you know, to be able to, to f- play uh, four corners or, and to have the, to roll them in and out in the past, that's not been the case. Um, and then I think the same, the same could be true for uh, D line wise and our ability to roll guys out. Now, those guys are young people, and so that that um, if that's what you mean by that question, then uh, I feel good about our talent. I think the you know the the transfer portal um, as as a whole for the you know what we did this past year was really kind of uh, predicated on just that 2020 recruiting class and the lack thereof and everything, and so I'm hopeful that. Um, you know, from now on, we're getting six to eight, somewhere in there a year, as opposed to the, you know, under 20 that we just about did this past year. And so um, I think that would be something that could benefit the team and then still get us to where, um, you know, kids are coming in here and it's not uh, turning into a junior college. It seems like to me, you're playing about half your starters seem to be freshmen or sophomores, mm-hmm. which is what you alluded to. But it seems like they're the ones mm-hmm. that are the ones flying around to the football and perhaps having a little bit more of that oomph. The fans, all, you know, when you win, everyone, mm-hmm. that's great. And you don't, then there's an energy issue in, mm-hmm. in your personality. Mm-hmm. You know that. Mm-hmm. But it seems like they're the ones that seem like they're more excited. Why mm-hmm. would the underclassmen do that rather than the guys who have been around four or five or six years? I appreciate that. Yeah, I think the I think the to 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 talk about energy. I think that first game, so many young people playing, and I hesitate to talk like that because I don't want to make it sound like an excuse. Um, but the. I mean, there was nervousness in that game, and there was a hesitation in that game. And despite all the talk by me and all of it, we still, you know, um, that still occurred. I didn't feel any of that in the second game. I thought there was a pure attack mode throughout. And in, in this third game, I thought defensively it was that way. Uh, and I think I mentioned in there, I think offensively, we probably would have felt it too if the throw game would have gotten going. Um, um, and so I would say that as a whole. I, d- I don't, I know that, um, you know, um, being who I am invites invites things. And so, you know, I, I definitely understand that. But I, I, I think, though, to specifically address your question, if you're a young person, you feel like you're getting better. You know, you feel like it's an opportunity to grow. It's like an, I'm out there and I'm going and and I'm, I'm going full speed. I messed up, but I'm going to get better. And I know that I'm going to get better and I want to get better. If you're an old person and you've been around, you could say Long Island, Long Island who? Why do we, what, what, what? You know, you, and it could, all of these things could be inside. And so you have to, to make sure that all of that's out. And, you know, a lot of times if all of, if there's certain things that are holding guys back that are back, and I'm not saying this versus our guys specifically, I'm saying this just as a general thing nowadays, is the things that when guys are coming back, a lot of times it's, there's a certain thing they've got to work through. And we as coaches have got to help them. If the things were not, if there wasn't stuff to work through, you know, they'd probably be in the NFL right now. And so I think to work through those things is kind of the whole thing for a lot of the guys that are coming back. And so I think, you know, there's different where that the the veteran process may be a slower process. The younger process is a little bit quicker because they're thinking I'm getting better with every snap. Do you feel like you have a Big 12 championship roster? I do. I do. I feel like we're talented. Yeah. I think I think some of these questions and I appreciate them would be, you know, if we were as explosive as we've been in practice, 
on Saturdays, which we have not been. I think I think it would be it'd be different. Jalen Petrie may have been like almost a once in a lifetime player, yep. and we know his story. He's in the NFL. You've struggled finding another one of him. And, of course, there's a reason how good he is. Mm -hmm. But has that been a disappointment that you haven't found, like, the the lightning rod of your defense and, and someone like what he brought to the table at that position? Appreciate it. Yeah, at the star. Yeah, I think um – you know, I think Corey can still be that, Corey Gordon. I think uh, Tayshawn Wilson played some snaps um, this past uh, this past game. I think Tayshawn could be that. I think both of those guys are very dynamic guys. And, uh, you know, they're young. But, uh, Tayshawn's a true freshman. But uh, Corey has shown flashes. I think Corey's got to tighten up the off the field so that the on the field's a little bit more in between the lines. But he has shown uh, – to make plays, whether it's near the line of scrimmage or, you know, in a half or in man-to-man -man or blitzing. And so, I, you know, I can remember when Corey was here with Christian Morgan and Christian saying, this guy is the next one. And so it's very obvious from that point of view, but it's just now that we're in a higher level of everything counts and everything matters, we've got to clean up the off the field to get the on the field better. Mac Rhodes told us last week that Baylor, he, you guys have to be careful about about how you position NIL, but I feel like there's about to be more of we are taking care of the athletes, either mm -hmm. now or the ones incoming. Mm -hmm. Is that something you've tried to communicate with the administration, knowing how sensitive it is, what you can say or not say about NIL? <laughs> Um, about how we're he seems going. to think that there's about to be. Hey, we are doing this, and it's, Baylor's been kind of too quiet about it. Right, I can sense that's where it's going. I think I feel the same way that of this from the same place you're asking that question, and and Mac and I have talked about that. Like in just this past week, we talked about just where it was, where it is now, and where it's going, and where Baylor needs to be to stay in the mix with it. Texas is loaded, both sides of the ball. We know that. We'll you, you can you sense you won't be able to do it today that you would come out with a team that's just hell bent for election on Saturday and everything goes you just let it all out that is the hope and I think <laughs> that's I mean that's I feel like we we did we did that to a degree on two two weeks ago and I think defensively we did that uh, this past week I think it's been two weeks now um, and so I think you know the inconsistency is just not acceptable and it's just not something that you know anytime you have to you know say who you are then that that doesn't that's not it you know the play has to just and so I think for us the, to get, you know, offense, defense, special teams to where, you know, the execution is where it needs to be, I think is the next step. And I, and I know that, you know, this game at this time um, and the whole thing is going to be a great call uh, for guys to step up their play and coaches included. And so we're excited for that. Is that something you take personally when it's inconsistent? The, the whether it's the play the emotions or whatever yeah I think so I think the I think the most of um most of everything we talk about is through consistency. And so I, I just feel like when you're working with people doing their first time through something in this stage being the first opportunity to be in a stage like this, I think you're going to um, have these ups and downs. But I think as a, as a whole, the coaching staff's um, commitment and connection with our players is 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 pushing them to a new level and, and so I'm I'm excited to see what that looks like last thing I asked Mac Brown this question he went through a lot of coordinators you've been through a couple of changes mm -hmm. when you do that is there also the concern that if that doesn't work mm -hmm. then you look around and the room is empty and you're the only one left in the room I understand that uh, and I appreciate that question I you know I think for me it's probably a little bit more of of, um, you know, when I first got here and I'm hiring guys and it's, you know, my agents talking to me, I've got, um, you know, people here talking to me and I didn't know enough of who I was to say, hey, this is someone that would deal, that would be good for me, that would be good for the program. I didn't know enough of that. And so, you know, I think to, um, 
to kind of learn that on the run is not pleasant. And then this is on the other side of that. And so I just feel like the guys that we've got now are are guys that fit the program, fit me, fit the kids. And I just feel like we're going to continue to get better and better and better. And so that's the, you know, I think I wish that the learning wasn't so um, public and tough and just all of it. But uh, that is what it is. Final thing. Would you feel like if if this doesn't go well Saturday and Texas is capable of blowing people out, Mm -hmm. but how important is it? No moral victories. Mm -hmm. How important is it for you guys to go out and play maybe your best game of the year? Is that possible? I believe it is. Yeah, I believe it is. I think this team, you know, the the stuff that we've been through, it's the, the ideas are those, the failings and just the hard lessons and all of it. The whole idea with that is to get better. You know, the whole idea of that is to apply it and to learn and get and, you know, step up a level because of it. And so that's what this is about this next game. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Dave Aranda, Baylor football coach on 365 Sports.